Hey all, this is Ed from Experimental Airlines, just doing a long overdue introduction to myself and to Experimental Airlines. Talking to you from the toy hauler, my little uh, RC cave where all the weirdness happens. Uh, my name of course is Ed and I'm 42 years old. I live in Phoenix, Arizona and I've been addicted to all things flying including airplanes since I could remember, since I was a little bitty kid. And now I have two small children of my own which I adore but that doesn't leave me a lot of time or money to build uh, expensive airplanes and therefore I've picked up using foam board as a good alternative to make effective but affordable airplanes and I've made many many of them as you can see. The idea behind this project is for me to share with you some of the techniques I've developed working with uh, Dollar Tree foam board, packing tape, hot glue and uh, plastic gift cards so that you too can consider incorporating some of the techniques into designing and making your own aircraft. I don't now and don't ever intend to sell anything or make any uh, audio or online courses or anything, but I'll continue to produce these videos for free. My reward is knowing that there are some guys like yourself that might get some ideas from these videos that you can use to make your own airplanes. Now while I really enjoy making these uh, videos, what I enjoy even more is watching your videos, particularly if I'm somehow able to help you make the aircraft that you show in your video. Now my core design philosophy behind these aircrafts and the components is to make them simple to build, durable, effective, not necessarily beautiful, but uh, one that you would be happy flying around and showing to your friends. The key components to almost all the planes that you'll see me making are the modular components including this tail section with a vertical and horizontal stabilizer, integral elevator, and in some models a, r a rudder the tubular fuselage, which is square and cross-section, can be made in several diameters, and typically a 30 inch length, which can be joined for longer lengths. And the arm and wing, which is made in 30 inch sections, and can also be joined, and is typically made in either a 5 inch airfoil cord or a 7 inch airfoil cord, and these can be adapted to many different kinds of airplanes. Three, two, one. Some questions you might have had is, uh, one is, what is the Armin wing? Where does the name come from? Well, Armin is my four-year-old son, and uh, I think he's really cool, and I think the wing is a nifty design, and I just wanted a name to refer to this particular uh, wing section design so that when us RC guys are talking to one another online or in person, we can refer to an Armin wing, and we'll each know this is what we're talking about. <laughs> Daddy. Yes. You might wonder why all of my planes are so square and blocky, typically. Well, really that's just the sort of default, simple, most straightforward method of building each of these planes. It would be up to you to make it your own style, and I heartily encourage that. Like sweeping control surfaces, different colors, different styles, tapering the nose and tail, anything you want to do. But this is the most straightforward method that I can figure out to go from foam board and tape to an airplane that I can go and fly this weekend. So that's why they look very utilitarian. You might also have noticed in my video that I am lacking a digit here on my left hand and that my thumb doesn't look like a normal thumb and the reason for that is that uh, when I was born uh, this was not my thumb, this was my index finger and when I was 30 years old I was handling some pyrotechnics, one of which exploded in my left hand um, took off my left thumb, most of the flesh on the palm of my hand broke many bones including all of these and all of these and left me with what looked like this sort of four fingers, no thumb and a very injured index finger and so I had the index finger surgically moved over to become my thumb and after about 20 surgeries of hooking up uh, tendons, nerves and blood vessels I'm able to pinch and grab and uh, it's useful enough, I'm good enough to build airplanes with, good enough to fly both RC and real aircraft, so I'm pretty happy with it. So I really appreciate you watching my videos, I hope you get something out of them, and I appreciate any comments or remarks or questions that you might have, and I'll do my very best to answer any of those whenever possible, and I'll continue to try and put out videos 
one a week or so on something or other. And if you have any requests, I'm I'm happy to entertain them. Hope you have a lot of fun flying and building RC, and we'll catch up with you soon. Take care.